By the end of this video, you're gonna have a very clear understanding of how you can go on a ketogenic diet for a few months and change the entire way your body works forever, even if you are not on the ketogenic diet for life, okay? I'm gonna blow your mind with some emerging research that has to do with our DNA and it has to do with the fact that ketones do a completely different thing within our body than we thought even a year ago. You are tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel. New videos on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time, and a bunch of other videos throughout the week as well. I ask of you to hit that subscribe button, but I also ask of you to hit that bell button so you can turn on notifications and know whenever I go live, so you never miss a beat and never miss some new emerging research. Now, for those of you that are trying to get the most out of your body and your mind, I encourage you to check out Four Sigmatic down in the description below. You've probably heard me talk about them before. You've probably seen them in Whole Foods. The cool thing with Four Sigmatic is they've been able to take good quality coffee and combine it with adaptogenic mushrooms to give you the most powerful effect on your brain. So we're talking things like lion's mane, we're talking things like cordyceps that have proven scientific evidence behind them to actually increase ATP production. It's gonna give you more energy in your brain. So anyway, if you just want that extra mental boost before or after a workout, you're gonna to wanna to check them out because they don't break a fast either. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. Ketones are not just passive carriers of energy, okay? They're not just this random little thing that just goes around and gives us energy. They're not what people basically make them out to be. People will go out and say, well, ketones are just an alternative to glucose. They're just an energy source. Well, holy cow, are we wrong. They are performing a slew of biological functions and activities within the body far beyond what glucose could ever do. And I'm gonna do my best to keep this super like level and mellow and not go way into la la land when it comes down to genetics and physiology because I want this to all make sense. But this is some stuff I can honestly say and go on record saying that you should be getting really excited about. So ketones have an ability to change how our body functions for good at a genetic level. Okay, I'm gonna explain some stuff in some more depth, but basically they are becoming signaling molecules. So ketones are actually regulating our gene expression, but ketones are actually sending signals throughout our bodies, much like hormones and much like overall neurotransmitters and neurochemicals do. Okay, so testosterone is a hormone, right? Testosterone changes a person. Testosterone builds muscle. Testosterone makes a boy a man, when they go through puberty, I mean, testosterone is important, right? Because testosterone's a hormone. Well, guess what? Ketones are having hormone-like properties and having other properties other than just being fuel. It's not just an alternative to glucose. They are acting like drugs inside our bodies. And this is all recent stuff, like super exciting stuff. So ketones are changing how everything works. And I can almost guarantee that here in the not too distant future, we're gonna be seeing that pharmaceutical companies are gonna be jumping on the bandwagon because they're realizing that ketones have a very powerful effect when it comes down to changing the body. Ketones bind to receptors on cells that activate different processes. So it's not like they just come in and they give us fuel. Okay, they come in and they're activating processes. Now a simple example would be something known as HCAR2, and I'm gonna keep this simple. HCAR2 is a receptor that sits on a fatty acid, okay? Now what we're finding is that ketones can come in and they can occupy this receptor and they can therefore tell the fatty acid to not go through lipolysis, to not actually get burned, right? So it can actually command that Okay, glucose can't do that in its world, right? Like sugar can't come in and tell the body not to burn sugar. I mean, you could become diabetic, I guess that's a quick way to have that happen. But the reality is ketones actually go to a cell and then they can have the power to tell the body to not burn fat or to not produce more ketones through a negative feedback system. Again, I'm gonna use testosterone as a simple example because it's one that most people know of. Okay, if you take in a bunch of testosterone from an exogenous source, you're not going to produce testosterone anymore because your body sees that you have enough. Ketones do the same thing. Your body sees that you have enough ketones because they've bound to the cell. So your body says, well, I don't need to produce more or I don't need to burn fat because ketones have that power. Why is this so cool? Because we didn't realize they did. We thought it was just simple energy, but it's not. It goes much further beyond that. But now when it comes down to the way that ketosis literally changes how we look at life, literally changes how our cells work, and literally changes how we burn fat, okay? Beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is the main ketone body, looks a lot like something known as butyrate. Okay, it makes sense, beta-hydroxybutyrate and butyrate. 
Now what butyrate is, is a short chain fatty acid that is produced within our gut. Okay, when we digest fiber and when we digest certain things, we produce butyrate. Now we've often heard that there is a very solid link between our gut health and positive gene expression and just overall longevity and good health. Well, it's because of the butyrate at the end of the day. But it turns out that beta hydroxybutyrate has the same properties as butyrate. So here's what happens. When we look at how butyrate works, butyrate unlocks our genes. It allows our genes to actually command a change within the body. We have a genetic code, and it's complex to think about, but this genetic code dictates how we grow, and how we build muscle, and how we burn fat, and who we are to live at our absolute utmost potential, right? The problem is we normally can't even read our genes because they're so tightly wound. Let me explain it. Okay, our genes have what is called a histone backbone, okay? So they have a protein, okay? If you think of just your genes as like one solid strand, okay? With the film strip of your life just tightly wound around it. If you were to extend your DNA, it would be almost three feet long. But it's so tightly wound because of this whole situation that it hardly ever gets broken down and able to be read. If our genes can be broken down and actually read, then we can actually make change. So let me give you an analogy. It's like a film reel, okay? And your life and your genetic code and everything that is you is tightly wound on that film reel. So tightly wound that you could never undo it. But if you have a specific enzymatic process activated known as acetylation, this is going to unwind, okay? So this acetylation unwinds the film reel of your life and allows it to go into the projector and play. But here's the problem. Normally we have so much in the way of deacetylation properties and deacetylation enzymes and activity going on in our body, we hardly ever get to unroll our genes. So we don't ever get to live to our full potential. Here's what's wild. Ketones, beta hydroxybutyrate, actually unlock it. And this is what recent science is showing. It unlocks the film reel of our life. So now we literally can change. Genes are under tight lock and key for a good reason. We don't want any just Paul, Joe, or Harry coming by and unlocking our genes and changing something in our life. It's just not the way we're programmed and not the way it's supposed to be. So it requires something very important. And the fact that ketones have that ability is really cool. So as our cells start burning more fat, and they start utilizing more fat and oxidizing more fat. Simultaneously, we have gene expression going on. Okay, we're able to read our genes and able to change and change the print. So now, we're burning fat, we're burning ketones, but we're also changing our genetics. So our genetics are now saying, aha, fat is what we should be burning, because that's what these guys are burning right now, and at this point in time, I'm susceptible to change. So now I'm a fat burner. That, my friends, is why on a ketogenic diet, you can make yourself fat adapted. But you don't just make yourself fat adapted because your body is genetically uh, telling you to burn more fat now. No, it goes beyond that. Have you ever realized that when you go on a ketogenic diet, your mind changes altogether? You become a more calm person even when you're not on keto? You handle stress better? You handle life better? It's because literally, the ketogenic diet allows you to reprint your DNA. It opens it up. And I know that you can tell that I'm excited about this, but this is interesting, wild stuff, because this is exactly the proof that ketones are more like a drug in our body than anything else. They have the power to change how we look at life and to change exactly how our cells work. So it's not just Jillian Michaels saying that it's getting rid of the carbs and you're just eating fats. Like, oh my gosh, that is the most shallow, pathetic way of looking at things when you actually look at the big picture. We're changing our DNA, and that is what is powerful. So anyway, I'll get off my high horse here, but this is powerful stuff. As always, make sure you're keeping it locked in here on my videos and I'll see you in the next one.